to download the cassandra we can go to the downloads page of cassandra documentation here we can find all the required information related to the operating system or the version of cassandra that we want to download now cassandra is not natively supported on windows anymore so if you want to run cassandra on windows you need a workaround there are two ways one is to use the wsl let's say install an ubuntu on the windows machine then install cassandra on that ubuntu or you can use docker desktop so i am going to use docker desktop as i am working with a windows machine if you don't know what wsl is or how to enable it watch this video and if you want to follow along and want to install cassandra using docker desktop then you need to install docker desktop first for that you need to watch this video see the suggestion and once you have installed docker desktop on your machine then please proceed further here i am with my docker desktop on my windows machine right now there is no container and now we are going to run cassandra as a docker container using docker desktop on my windows machine to do that we need to find the docker image for cassandra which is super easy using docker desktop all we need to do is we need to use this search bar and if you go and search for the cassandra we see this cassandra image official cassandra image and i'm going to hit run which will download the cassandra image then it will run cassandra from that image as a new docker container so let's give it few seconds it has not downloaded the image and in order to run a new container we need to provide some information please notice these are optional settings so let's have a look container name let's name it spring hyphen cassandra ports because docker desktop will actually run a new docker container and in that docker container it will run the cassandra so we need to bind these ports from the host machine to the docker container so that we are able to connect otherwise when we run the spring boot application it won't find the cassandra running on these ports because these ports are not by default accessible so let me assign the same port for this one let's say 7000 7001 basically this port so we need to assign the same ports 71999042 and 9160 so we are assigning the same ports and after that let's hit run this will now start a new docker container with name spring hyphen cassandra and it will bind those ports from the my host machine to this docker container and you see it's starting the cassandra please also note that we are not going to initialize a huge cluster we are going to simply start up a single node which is this one and after some time we see this log message startup complete which means that cassandra is now up and running as a docker container as always we can inspect the properties under this tab related to the docker image and docker container so we can see the mounts we can see the ports between the docker container and the host machine and we have access to this docker container using this terminal so we can interact with this docker container which we will do shortly to access the docker container from the terminal we will use sql sh sql is basically cassandra query language and it is the cli available for cassandra so we can access cassandra from the command line in order to execute sql or in order to enter the sql mode we'll type sql sh and now we are in we see the terminal change to sql sh and now we can trigger sql queries and sql commands right now there is nothing in this cassandra container so for the demo and to simply do a quick sanity we will create a simple key space a simple table then we'll insert couple of records in that table to do that we'll use the quick start guide of cassandra here it is get started with apache cassandra and you can access this from the cassandra home page documentation so it's all available here cassandra basics quick start ecosystem here you can see uh, there are these queries mentioned so let's copy this one to create the key space paste and here we are saying create key space if not exists 
this is the name of that key space store this is the class simple strategy replication factor is one because we are running a single node so replication factor will be one hit enter and it will create a new key space with name store once we have the key store we'll create a new table in this key store or a column family let's copy this one and notice we are using the same key space store dot name of the table user id is the first column with type text which is also the primary key second column is item underscore count which is an integer and then we have the third column last updated timestamp with type timestamp so let's copy this and create a new table in this key space paste and hit enter and we have a new table in this key space shopping cart let's move on and insert these two records in this table so notice insert into this table key space dot table name then all the three columns then values keyword and then we are inserting the values so let's copy the commands go to the terminal paste it and hit enter and now if we fire a select query select star from store dot shopping underscore cart we see two records in the table with user id that we provided 9876 and 1234 item count and the current timestamp so we successfully ran cassandra on our local machine as a docker container using docker desktop then we created a simple key space a simple table and inserted two records we fired the select query to read those records and that completes our discussion on the local setup